Hey, YouTube. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Good to see you. On the X, we're live on the cutting board uh, level. But over here, we've got a little bit more of a human view. This will be my first ever just hanging out with you video. Now, the way this is going to work is that you get to hang out and talk with other people or do whatever you want. I'll see the comments on the locals, people probably first. And the rest of you, uh, feel free to hang out. It might be entertaining, but probably not. Probably just hanging out. You can chat with your, your friends and uh, you will feel less lonely. So the idea behind this <coughs> is to uh, essentially just make everybody feel a little less lonely. So we're going to start with soup, and this is a, uh, I'm going to call it my Thanksgiving soup. We've got some soup stock and some vegetable broth. I didn't really know what the difference was, so I just got them both. I think one's thicker or something, something like that. <laughs> now, it won't take you long to figure out, I'm not what you'd call a skilled chef or anything like that, or anything in that general neighborhood. No, nothing. I'm just going to squirt this crap in here and mix two of these broths. We don't know what's going to happen. Is everybody, uh, how, how many of you are actually alone, except for, of course, our wonderful company? How many of you are actually alone? Got some, me, yay. Got some yeses, I am. Wow, a lot of you, okay. Well, this was exactly what you needed. We're gonna soothe your souls. Now. Let's get this bad boy steaming a little bit. And we're not going to talk about politics. Really, nothing bad. So, let's see. The ingredients are as follows. You got your big-ass carrot, which is going to get... Chopped up while you watch. The uh, people on the X stream will get to see me lose a finger up close. No, that's not true. I have very good cutting technique. I was a vegetable cutter professionally. I've told the uh, locals people this before. But if you use good cutting technique, you don't have to worry, which is putting your knuckles like that so you couldn't hurt yourself if you wanted to. It's all technique. But staying away from the knife, knife is even easier. <laughs> so, oh my God, I hate cutting round things because they roll off. Now, the magic of this, of course, is that you got your vegetables of different densities. So you got to get the, the thick ones going first. And you want to make sure that you've calculated in your brain the approximate thickness of all these bad boys. So everything works out. Okay. Is that on edibles? No. No, I'm not. You'd be amazed to know. I'm au natural. All right, so we've got some of that going in there. <clears throat> Now, I've been told that cornstarch is a good thing to put in soup. I don't know if I should wait till it boils or just slop, slop some in there. Thicken it up a little bit. <laughs> no cornstarch? Too, too late. It's cornstarched. Yeah, let's see. I 
I might not be looking at all your suggestions. Bay leaf, you say. Bay leaf. Interesting. Interesting. Bay leaf. Hmm. I might have some bay leaf. Come with me, X. We'll see what I got here. Checking out the spices. Bay leaf, rosemary. I don't think I have bay leaf. Anybody see any bay leaf in there? No. Bay leaf failure. Oh, will that stop us? No. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, X. Come back to me. There you go. All right. Here's a here's a uh, cooking tip for you. Best cooking tip is always put your garbage next to you. Just a little professional tip. All right. Let's see what else we need. We need probably need uh, another carrot or two because I like me some carrots. These are good. Maybe one more of these. Is anybody glad you're here yet? <laughs> yeah, I, I just wonder if anybody's having any fun. I mean, it's better than sitting there lonely on uh, Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. The, the, this is giving you that, that live feeling like you're in the kitchen. Do you know what's the best feeling? Somebody else cooking. Am I right? The best, the best ASMR sounds, somebody else cooking. Oh, my God, I can listen to it all day. Because I think it's when you're a kid, and you're hearing you know, mom or dad are making you some food, and you know something good is coming, and it's going to be good pretty much every time. Well, maybe not every time. Now, quiz. Go. Name it. Name it. Name it. Name it. Go. What is it? Butt fruit. That was a good guess. Name it. Name it. Uh, the answer is, it's a Keith Olbermann's Cold Dead Heart. Keith Olbermann's Cold Dead Heart. Some people call it rutabaga. Rutabaga. Or as the, the clerk at the grocery store called it today, this, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what's this? Uh, what, what, uh, what, what is this? So that's what it is. We're going to go for the big ass knife. Another tip. If you got a big hard thing, okay, no jokes. All right, I'll take a moment so you can enjoy that unintentional punchline or unintentional straight line. Okay. All right, got that out of your system? So, uh, actually, I'm going to go small, so to speak. And I'm going to carve off its outer tough skin. Because who likes outer tough skin? Nobody. And notice my good technique of always using the knife away from my hand, never toward it. Especially when you have extra hard objects. You really don't want to go toward your hand ever. And also with soft objects. Same thing. All right. This is probably hard for some people to watch. Hmm, smells really good. Actually, anybody get any uh, any fights with the relatives today? Actually, a lot of you didn't have any relatives. You haven't missed anything. Mm. <clears throat> you use a peeler on a rutabaga. Rutabaga. That sounds like hard work. That would take a long time. Now. The, the outsides, um, I collect up and I keep it in Tupperware so that later I can make a, a soup stock out of the, uh, the remains. Does anybody believe that? 
No, I do not do that. <laughs> but for a while, you believed it, didn't you? For, for a little while, did you believe that I used this to make... No? Not a single person believes that. Okay, you know me too well. Apparently, you know me way too well. Yes, no, I don't do that. Now, we go to the big-ass knife, and we want to have big chunks, big chunks. And the rutabaga is the secret ingredient in all of this. It's the one that when you get it on your spoon, you go, ooh, rutabaga. Just like that, you say it. Hmm. All right, we will solve for this. Cubes is good. Cubes. Ooh. Or X, you couldn't even see it. Whistle while you cut. Move the bottle. Move the bottle. Is that better? How, how amazing is this that this is even possible? Isn't it kind of amazing that this is even possible? So what I've got going here, here I'll show the folks on X. So... Locals and YouTube, meet X. Uh, X would like to see you. So this is a little setup that I have in my upstairs office. I just brought it down. And then I brought this one so I can see the comments a little bit closer. That's what's going on. Now, I think I warned you that the first hour is family friendly. So we're in the family friendly, family friendly first hour. There will be no nudity now or later. You'll be happy to hear. Now the next question you have is, Scott, are you putting potatoes in this? Well, probably. I think I will. I think I'll put some red potatoes. Whoever promised you nudity was lying. They were lying. Potatoes. We're going to be quartering the potatoes. Unos. Dos. Unos. Dos. I won't say it again. It's already annoying. All right. Yes, I did wash my vegetables before I began. Yes, I am keeping these skins on the red potatoes because only monsters and heathens take the skins off. That's right. Don't be a monster. <clears throat> Would you like to know the finest food that I ever had as a child? This is no joke. My literal favorite food is a raw potato with salt. Have you ever had it? Have you ever tried a raw potato with salt? It's fucking awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. It's family time. It's awesome. Oh, it's really good. The salt just brings it alive. Well, I think we need a little bit more potato. Just a little bit. Oh, my God. I could serve that as an appetizer, but then people would say, Scott, it doesn't look like you put much effort into your appetizers. And I'd be like, Mm, that's true. All right, that's enough potato. Uh, question. 
Should I take a leak in my soup? All right, now these are onions. Should I put these green onions in my soup? Getting a yes? Yes, all right. I think it's just because you want to see me cut it. You said to yourself, oh, he's good with carrots and potatoes. He did okay with the rutabaga. But does he know how to handle a whole bunch of green onions at the same time? Sort of. I used to. Back when I was a salad cutter, I was one efficient salad cutter. I'm not a big lover of the... uh, the green part. Kind of like, I don't go too far up. Yeah, a little bit. That's enough. All right. Is anybody hungry yet? You've already already eaten. Stir it, Scott. I wish I knew where my stirring things went. Aha! Found a sturdy thing. All right. You're hungry? Well, I don't know if that's the best part. Is it the best part? I don't know. All right. Now, what's in here? Oh, broccoli. Well, we don't need to do the broccoli yet. That will be a late addition, but we'll prep it. The proper broccoli knife is this one. Because, because you need to get in there. You got to get in there. You got to get in there. Cut their little heads off. You call them. Florets. All right. Now, some might cut them, some might pull them apart. I feel like the less a knife touches your food, the better. I wash my hands sometimes, so. Yeah, the less your knife touches them, the better. That's my feeling. We'll get rid of that. And then we'll put this aside. Put it aside. Let's see, over here. Then, um, then we'll transfer these over there. Whoa, hello. Green beans. Protein it is. All right. No, I'm not putting cucumbers in the soup. That's the question you're probably wondering. No, those are for the appetizer, which I'll show you also. All right. Beans, beans, beans. (laughs) That was a joke just for the people on X. A little clowning around, you know, because you can't take the holidays too seriously. All right. Gather together, beans. You're about to be... Oh, there used to be a bean, but now it's a has-been. Ladies, if you don't like that joke, ask your has-been. You might like it. Dad jokes all day long. All day long. All day long. Dad jokes. Don't try to slow my roll. No. Nothing can stop me from dad joking. And I believe you all know the rule. What's the rule? Thanksgiving is a dad joke free zone. Uh, It's an asylum. Asylum date, you can do maximum dad jokes all day long until midnight, 
At midnight, Black Friday kicks in, and Dad, you're worthless. It's all about the shopping after that. All right, you're dead at, at midnight. You're dead to the world. That's shopping time. All right. I hope none of you are crying over spilled milk. (laughs) Yes, it was a while ago that I threw away the best part. It was sort of a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, We're we're not much worrying about it anymore. But if, if you'd like to come to my house and rummage around, I got the ends of those green onions. Might make a lovely soup stock. Or not. Or not. All right. Now I've got a big question. Onion or no onion? I'll give you two two choices. Red onion, white onion. I see onion, yes. Red or white? I see both. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Both. All right. Interesting. Uh, oh, I'm seeing more reds on YouTube. This is interesting. More, more uh, colonizers on, on local. <laughs> interesting. There's a difference, actually. The more people want white ones on locals and more people want red ones. Is that because there are more people of color on YouTube watching? So you're like, hey, we don't need your generic Caucasian onion. We want an onion with a little flavor, a little flavor. Well, I have just the answer for both of you. It's called the melting pot. Have you heard of it? Have you heard of it? Yeah, it's a thing. I'm going to put both of these onions in there. Yeah, both. And watch. Oh, God, they're fighting. They're fighting. Stop it. Break it up, you two. Stop it. All right. The reason you put them in the melting pot is they have to be dead to get along. you got to melt them first. That's not true. They're actually very good friends. All right. Well, we need the correct knife. No. Yes. Now, I'm going to be honest, I do not do onions normally. And it has been quite a while since I bothered to even prep an onion. don't even remember how to do it. But I think I'll take off the rough outer shell. That's what we culinary experts call it, the shell. Some of you... I'm not crying, you're crying. Sometimes I get so sentimental around Thanksgiving that when I cut the onion, I cry. Oh. You'll lose it here in a minute. I calculate I have 20 seconds left before all hell breaks loose in my eye socket area. Hold on, Scott. Stay alive. Stay alive. Quick. I need an engineering. I need an engineering chemistry. Expert, true or false, that after you get all this stuff in your hands, the onions on your hands, that if you touch stainless steel, it will neutralize the smell? Is that a real thing? A lot of no's. So that, that's no? Some people say true, but mostly say no. Run it under cold water. Okay, that would be one way to go. That soup is soup-tastic. We'll turn it down to a slow boil. Just wash your hands. Well, maybe I will. Well, how much of an onion do you think 
goes in this soup. I say half. Whoa. Let's do a half. Whoa. Whoa. That's very onion-y. Very onion-y. But waste not our onion. Oh, oh, yeah. It's only being directly over it, they get you. All right, onion two. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Best soup ever. Where are my cooking assistants? My God, man. Like, I need help. No, I'm not sauteing them. Mushrooms? Uh, what? Did you actually say mushrooms right before I picked up the mushrooms and said mushrooms? What? One of you guessed exactly, like, as I picked it up. Well, the mushrooms and the broccoli, being in the softer foods categories, will be prepped but not put into the soup until a slightly later time. Fortunately, we have plenty to do before that. I'll just get that ready. All right. For our next trick, I'll make my favorite appetizer. It requires white vinegar and a cucumber or multiple. And it goes like this. Let me get the starch off my hands. First, you peel your cuke. Some of you might be slow peelers. I cannot buy the slow peeler. You got to be a fast peeler. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Some say I've been practicing all my life for this. Stop it. They will be further cut after I've tamed the rest of them. Do, 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 do. I don't know if I'll do all of them. There might be a limit to how much you want to watch this. But hey, that didn't stop me yet. It's important to have a good peeler. If you have a bad peeler, you can't do anything. I just looked up and I saw somebody calling somebody a slut. Apparently the conversation has taken a turn. <laughs> uh... You don't know why you're enjoying it? It's because it's awesome. That's why. You're saying to yourself, that man has peeled a cucumber before. Yes, I have peeled a cucumber before. It's not my first rodeo, cucumber-wise. But I bought all these, so I might as well use them. since I prep like the flash. 
Do 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 do. Now, <clears throat> soup's getting a little bit mature. Secret ingredients. Hello, sriracha sauce. Hello. We're going to give it a generous dollop. And now, sorry, X, I have to use your platform for a minute here. Red wine vinegar, red wine vinegar. I've never known if I should put this in closer to the end or if you put it in early. Does anybody know? You put in the red wine vinegar early or late, both? You top it off? I think both was the right answer, probably. Measurements? Nah. I don't do measurements. Measuring is for people who don't know how to cook. But when you're an expert cooker like I am, you don't measure. There's no measuring. It's crazy. And then the other thing you ask yourself is, <clears throat> Scott, shall we put some white pepper in it? White pepper, anybody? White pepper? This is the preferred pepper of colonizers. Colonizers prefer this kind of pepper. And, uh, no, we'll do it the right way. Oh, that's a lot of pepper. But I'm pretty sure I'll like it. Okay, I'll move that. I hear, I hear you. I hear you. I see you and I hear you. I moved it. All right. Oh, my God, it's getting good. This might be the best soup anybody ever made. In the history of soups. But it's not the only thing I'm having. You can have a little sea bass later, but I won't, I won't make you watch that. All right. I think I've got uh, two more cukes. Two more cukes before we go nuke. Before I nuke the cukes. I probably hum more than I should. I'm trying to I'm trying to quit. All right, last one. I got some bad news for you. Or, well, not for you really, but bad news is that I'm going to have to get rid of one of my strainers, my food strainers. I think you see the problem. You see the problem? Yeah, it's a, it's a has been. It's a has been. No, it's not a has been. No, I has been and it has no been. Here all night. Here all night, till midnight. It's all good till midnight. All right. Now, because we clean as we go, I'm going to make a little space here for you. You know what I say? Got time to lean, you got time to clean. Yeah, I run a very tight shop here. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why is that camera angle so wrong? Well, can't have everything. All right. Now, said cucumbers, <laughs> thus naked, will now be turned into smaller cucumbers through the miracle of cutting. We will have them and quarter them, or maybe have them. We're going to have them because they're very 
very small. Well, they, I guess it is quartered. Tactically, I'm quartering them in a fashion. How many people are watching this on X? We got 187 on X. 392 on the app, but we don't know the browser. And a thousand people on YouTube. <laughs> two thousand people watching me. Uh, yeah, about two thousand people watching me cut vegetables or whatever cucumbers are. All right, you take said cucumbers. You put them in a container. You very carefully measure the amount of vinegar. <sighs> carefully measured. Then, wait right there. Wait right there. You're going to see the most wasteful thing you've ever seen in your life. Coming at you. I don't want to hear any complaining. Don't say it. Don't say it. But and now you have once salted. You let this sit in the fridge for a little bit. Won't be good for a few hours. But you don't want it to be there too long either. They get waterlogged. But this will be a delight. Eventually. All right. So it's time to test the... We will test the hardness of one of these guys. Still a little bit hard. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, yeah. What do you think about salt? <laughs> salt the soup? You got a yes on salt? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Salt it is. Yes, I do have an automatic salt dispenser, as everyone should. All right. We've got a little bit of time uh, before I throw the other ingredients in there. How's everybody doing so far? Doing good so far? I don't know if you saw my salt dispenser, but I've got a... Salt and a pepper, and you just turn them upside down and they grind. So I will uh, demonstrate. But there's also a light that comes on, so you can see you can see how much salt you're dispensing because the light illuminates it as it comes down. Now, how much would you like to be able to see the salt as it comes out? Am I right? Oh, garlic. What's wrong with me? Uh, where is my garlic? Garlic. I got garlic somewhere. Garlic. Now I'd love to show off my garlic skills, but this, but this time I got uh, pre. Pre-cut. Uh, do you know the... Whew, wow. Hello. Do you know the best way... Sorry about that, guys. Do you know the best way to uh, get the uh, get the wrapper off the garlic? Not this wrapper, but, you know, the skin of the garlic. There is, there is one best way. Um, 
slamming it is one way, but the way we were taught, I probably I probably shouldn't teach you this. <laughs> so yes, you can you can just uh, slam it until it's broken a little bit, and then it comes right off. The way we used to do it is you put the knife on top of it. Don't, don't do this. You put the knife on top of it, and the, you know, and then you hit the knife. Is that the way you do it? Does anybody do it that way? Yeah, that's the way. I, that's the way I learned. But it's hard to tell somebody to slap a knife. Like as soon as I, as soon as I start saying, it, I'm like, "Am I really going to teach them to slap a sharp knife?" I know it's the side, but I don't know. I feel like you could find some way to hurt yourself if you tried. All right, how much garlic does a thing like this need? And should I cut it or just throw them in? Cut it or just throw them in? You cut them or just you slice them? But you're not slicing them small, right? <laughs> you're not. You're not. Um, I'm not mincing them, am I? Mincing them or just breaking them? Just cut. Some say mince. Some say dice. Dice. I've also diced a lot of boy am I gonna smell bad. Whew. But in a good way. I'll smell like food, so you'll you'll think I'm delicious. I declare that enough because I'm bored. A lot of garlic. But it's a big soup. It's a big ass soup. Uh, garlic press. I have a garlic press, but I like the manual method. All right. Now. Um, Probably almost time. We're going to do a solidity check. Solidity check. Goes through easily, but with a little bit of resistance. Oh, ho, ho, hello. Shit, that was hot. Little fucker. Well, these rutabagas hold the heat. Probably won't eat that one. No, I didn't. I didn't. You wanted me to. Mm hmm. Oh, that's <laughs> that's rutabag awesome. Rutabag perfect. Five second rule. Yes, yeah, so I'll remind you again. Um, at the end of the hour, at the top of the hour, um, I'm going to take the. Uh, <clears throat> going to take the. I'm sorry, I keep putting things in front of the. The X stream. I'm surprised you guys are hanging in here, on X, because uh, I gave the. Is anybody doing a two screens? Is anybody double screening? So you can see the board, but you can also see me. I, I knew there would be some of you. <laughs> yeah, all right, hold up. Is there anybody who's triple screening? Is anybody watching all three platforms? Because uh, I know you got, I got some nerds in here. I know, I know, there we go. I knew one of you would be. <laughs> I knew one of you would be. All right. <clears throat> So we've entered the uh, waiting phase, uh, but I'm going to have to do something about my stinky hands, so come with me. X, I'll bring you there in a minute. Mm. 
No, I'll give you this view. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the, uh, the folks at X, are gonna have the view uh, where the spouse tries to talk to you when the water's running. So I'll pretend I hear like they're talking to me. What is that, honey? Can't hear you, the water's running. What? No, I still can't hear you because I'm still running water. No, still running water. No, the uh, the rules of physics haven't uh, changed since I started uh, running the water. I'm running water. So, can't hear you. But when I'm done, I'm definitely going to make an effort to hear you, but I can't hear you now. Okay. That's a conversation I've had a few times. All right. See what they're seeing? Isn't that a cool setup? I've got this little uh, desktop uh, desk, and I can put two laptops on it. And you see from the side that all I have to do is angle the the thing, the whatever the stand is that sits on a desk. It's just for any kind of standing desk. It'll make your desk into a standing desk. And then I, I put the angle of the iPads so that they're, you know, one is pointing down and the other's, sorry, I was talking to X here. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, California. You're getting uh, sandwiches? Okay. Um, The kitchen was, well, the kitchen was renovated this year. So it's a it's a new newly renovated kitchen. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this is my best setup, and then I use the uh, the clip on uh, wireless mics, so they just have a dongle. This is in the iPad, and that's all you need. All right, so I'm thinking that I'm going to throw in my other material. And get that cooking. What do you think about that? Oh, you agree. Good. Probably want to see that soup. But it's going to be kind of hard to see. All right. So we'll take some mushrooms. I guess I should cut them up a little bit. They're kind of ginormous, but not too much. You like a like you like a good true. All right, in you go, mushrooms. In you go. <laughs> Wash them. Let me let me teach you something that I learned from a professional chef. You know when you go to a restaurant, and unless it's the very best restaurant. They're still going to have some of their their stuff uh, packaged when it comes. Do you think they wash it in the back room of the restaurant? Do you think if the restaurant got something that said pre-washed on it, do you think they'd wash it again? Nope. (laughs) No, they don't. Ask ask a chef. No. Why would they? Do, Do you think, let me ask you this. Do you think if there were any chance that this was dangerous, if you were to you know, just eat it, do you think that they would let it go out into the store? No fucking way. They're washing it better than you'd ever wash it. All right. Broccoli is in the house. Go, Broccoli. I have now completely run out of space in my soup pot. But I, I feel like I have to spice it up a little bit again because I added so much stuff. Use a little bit more sriracha. Sriracha. And use a little bit more red wine. 
This is the way. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wasabi. All right. I once had a stir, and now I do again. The thing I love about a soup is if you overcook it, it's better. <laughs> That's my kind of food. Well, did you undercook it? A little bit. How was it? Pretty good. Did you cook it just right? How was it? Pretty good. Did you overcook it? Yeah, how, how was it? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's always better the next day. You like that long, slow cooking, do you? Long, slow cooking. Here, you can read this. All right, no, you can't. Your wife can burn water. But can she walk on it? That's kind of your test. It's true, you haven't seen the soup. Would you like to see it? All right, we'll show you the soup. It's easier, it's easier to bring the soup to you. Can you see it? Ooh. Beautiful. I'll bet you can. Yeah, that's as far as I can tip it, but you can smell it, can't you? It's amazing. All right. I guess I'll put a few things away because I can. I think I'll, I don't know if I'll save those mushrooms. I don't think they'll have a better day. It's hobo soup. There's a name for it hobo soup. I call it Scott's soup. It's basically everything I like, and I just put it in a big pot of boiling soup stock. That works for me. Isn't it funny how that uh, terrorist bridge attempt thing in the Canadian-U.S. bridge turned out to be nothing? Oh, we don't know what it is yet, but it wasn't a terrorist. Leave some and stick blend to create a more creamy sauce. Oh, that's interesting. Stick blend it. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. But um, I'm going to use the method which I used last week that served me well. All right. Vivek has egg on his face. Well, you know, he should do, just do what I did. Just do what I did. You know, I really shouldn't have believed that uh, first uh, first version. But, I, but it sounded like something I wanted to believe, so I went with it. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, Vivek's point, Vivek's point stays whether that was real or not. It didn't need to happen to support his point, but he thought it did. I thought it did, too. I feel like I might have caused that, you know, because I know he watches my uh, my uh, traffic. And so I, I hope I didn't I hope I didn't help convince him it was real, you know, because the more people who say it's real, the more, more convincing it sounds like. I would hate that. All right. So do you think uh, the bake is going to surprise in Iowa? He might. He might.
Now, want to join me for some rice? You want to see the uh, my rice trick? You, you poor, poor guys. I'm always putting this in front of you. All right, I'm going to show you my rice cooker trick. I did get a new uh, steamer. With a steamer. All right, I'll turn you around so you can see it. So I got this uh, three-level steamer. You can do three different things at the same time, but I don't need to do three different things, so I'm not going to use it today. But instead, I'll be using this. I don't know what that big noise was, but I don't like it. Okay. Um, so let me let me show you my little trick. It goes like this. All right, so the idea here is that uh, you use this measuring cup, and if you do two of these, for example, there's a, a number two up here that tells you how much water to put in. Now, do you know what some people do? They put down the little cup, and then they take their bag of rice, and they try to put this bag of rice in this little cup. I'm embarrassed to say, that's sort of what I did for the first 20 years I used the steamer. And then, bing, bing, an idea comes to me. What if, what if, work with me, people, what if you take the little cup, you put it in the place that it's going to end up, and then when you pour shit over it, and some of it goes everywhere, it's still in the cup. Yeah, that's right. That's my innovation. It's still in the cup. All right. Not as well. Okay, we lost one. One grain. It was a one grain slop. Pretty good. But I'm going to wait on this. Now, if you didn't know, the purpose of the rice is to be dipped into the soup. So you don't want to put the rice, people, people, let me tell you. You don't want to, you don't want to put the rice in the soup because it'd be all soggy. But if you were to cleverly, uh, if you were to cleverly uh, put the rice in on the same spoon that you were going to eat the soup, You'd have rice that accentuates the flavor of the soup, like it multiplies it by five, just because there's rice on the spoon at the same time. And it, it kind of it probably at least triples the flavor experience just having rice on the same spoon. So that's why I do it. Wrong, never. Oh, okay. Cook the rice with the broth. No, I don't like the rice with the broth. Sometimes I like it, but I like a I like a nice white rice unsullied dipped into the into the soup when it's time. That, that's how I roll. All right, how's our time? What time is it? Well, it looks like locals has four hundred and twenty uh, people. Four twenty. Huh. It's almost four o'clock where I am. I feel as if you're trying to tell me something. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, in a moment, um, I'm going to say goodbye to X and to YouTube. But if you want to, um, if you're a subscriber, you can run over to scottadams.locals.com, uh, which is running right now. But uh, I'm going to go private on that. So I'm going to go private in a few minutes. So if you're not a member, you won't be able to see that. But uh, we're, we're, we'll be leaving the family-friendly format to the man cave in a moment. Uh, how, how is this for everybody? Give me some comments. 
Am I sideways? Should I have been doing this whole stream uh, the other orientation? Or did it work sideways? Hmm. Comments. What's going on here? There we go. There we go. Thumbs up. Oh, it should have been vertical. <laughs> uh, so I, I had the thing at uh, the wrong orientation the whole time. Oh, landscape works fine. Okay, it works both ways. The way you had it is better. All right, well, we've tried it both ways. Live and learn. All right, X, thanks for joining, all 140 of you. Um, I hope this was a, made it a little less lonely for all of you. Same with you on uh, YouTube. And I can say bye to X first. Thanks for joining. And now, i uh, going to say goodbye to uh, YouTube. Thanks for joining. See what you're missing by not being members of locals. I do this once in a while. Sometimes I do cooking, but not too often. But I do the man cave most nights. And I'm going to say goodbye to YouTube, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye for now. Happy Thanksgiving.